In this video, I'll show you how you can connect VAPI to your N10 AI agents and workflows. So you can actually call those using this voice assistant and get some response back and also have them do the normal operations inside of the N10 workflow. So I'm just going to demo this quickly with this super simple AI agent here, which is only a job is to get the weather from a certain place. So I'm just going to click on talk to assistant right now, and we are going to call this weather tool in N10. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I would like to get the weather from Prague today. Just a sec. The weather in Prague is currently clear with a temperature of approximately 12.7 degrees and a humidity of 49%. If you need more details or weather for another location, just let me know. So we're going to start itself inside of VAPI. All you need to do is go over to the VAPI website and in here you can just go over to the open dashboard or click on sign up and you will be able to sign up to VAPI. Once you've done that, you will be in a new account like this. And as I said, this is super cheap. You get a thousand free minutes every month using VAPI. So that's super generous to them. So I'm going to start off in a fresh account here I just made where we have your, our assistants. And all we need to do in here to make these assistants and then make them actually call the NSN workflows is starting with clicking on create assistant. And in here, we can just call this one NSN tutorial. There we go. We can use a blank template and we can click on create assistant. Now in here, what we need to do, you can configure the model, the transcriber, the voice, the tools, the an analysis and the advanced. As you can see, you can either click on this, you can just scroll to the section. So we can just scroll down. First of all, we have the model. This is something we're going to set. So we're just going to, to make this work with the weather API. We can say that the first message, this is what the AI is going to say when we actually call it. So I just added a really simple first message saying, hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? And then a really si simple system prompt because this is just a tutorial now to connect it to N10 saying, you are a pleasant assistant. Your job is to find the weather in the place city area that you that the user wants uh, to find the to find the weather, use the weather tool. And as you can see, we are now asking it to use the weather tool to find the weather in that area. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down, or just click on tool here, to scroll down to the tools section. And we are going to click on the tools and we want to select a tool. But as you can see, we don't have a tool because we actually need to create the weather tool that we just set in the system prompt. So go ahead and click on the create new tool. You will be redirected to the tools section inside of Appy here. And we need to click on no tool, or we need to click on create tool up here. And we need to click on the function. And we are going to call this tool, as I said earlier, we're going to call this tool the weather tool. And we're going to Give a quick description here saying call this tool to get the weather in a certain place and now we're going to scroll down to the parameter settings here because we are the parameters because we are actually going to add the parameters so just click on add a property here which is going to be called the place because this is the place where we want to actually find the weather from and then the description is just going to be this is the place city area that the weather will be retreated from this is be, going to be a type string of course and then we're just going to click on apply and once we've done that, we actually need to go ahead and we can just save this for now. We need to go ahead and find the server settings, server URL, because the server URL is actually going to be the NetN webhook trigger URL, which we are going to make now. So we are in a fresh NetN workflow here, and we're just going to click on add first step. And that is, of course, going to be the webhook uh, step. And we are just going to click on that. And we are going to set this to a post method, first of all. And then we're going to copy this test URL for the testing for now. We're going to paste that inside of here. And once we've done that, we can actually go ahead and save again. Now we actually have now we actually have set up our weather tool. So we can go ahead and go back to our assistant here in the NNT tutorial. And we can already actually, just before we do that, we can go ahead and go to the tool section and we can add our tool here. So we can just click on the weather tool. So now it has the weather tool and we can publish this agent or this assistant and now we can actually go ahead and talk to the assistant but before we do that we need to actually go ahead and we need to test this or listen for test events because now we want to trigger this weather tool so let's go back to Vapi and we can talk to the assistant hello where would you like to get the weather from today i would like to get the weather from prague today one moment I apologize, but uh, it seems... And there you go. As you can see, we now got the webhook triggered. So we can see what we got from that webhook. As you see, we got the place Prague here, which is what we're going to do. We're going to use. 
uh, in the later parts in this workflow. So we're just going to use a simple AI agent here. So you can just click on AI agent. We are just going to not be using connected chat trigger. We're going to use define below. And in here, we are just going to add, or first of all, we're just going to say, find the weather for, and we can scroll down to the body and the tool call so we can find the place, which is going to be Prague. We can put that in, find the weather for Prague. And now what we need to do is we need to just go ahead and we can add the tool here, which is obviously going to be the Open Weather API. So you can just search for Open Weather API. Open Weather. There we go. Open Weather Map Tool. And we can go ahead and if you don't have an Open Weather account, you can just go ahead and use that. Or we can do something else with this AI agent if you don't want to create one. Just let the AI find the, uh, define the city because that is then going to go ahead and define that city which came from the webhook. And we're just going to use a simple OpenAI chat model here for the AI agent, which is going to be GPT-40 Mini is fine for testing. And we are just going to add a little webhook response here, respond to webhook. And now we're going to let this be as first incoming item. But in this webhook right now, we actually need to change this from respond to using respond to webhook node. And once we've done that, uh, we are going to get a little error and I'm going to just trigger that for now and you can see what, what happens. So you just need to click on test workflow here, come back over to the Vapid dashboard, click on test uh, or talk to assistant. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I would like to get the weather from Prague today. Uh, give me a moment. It seems there was an issue retrieving the weather information for as you can hear, it was an issue retrieving the weather information. The reason is, as you can see, we actually managed to send back the response here, which was something looking like this. First of all, this is not something we can send back to VAPI, so we need to clean that up. Secondly, we also actually need to send a response to VAPI in a certain format. So the VAPI uh, documentation here is looking really weird for some reason, and they have some HTML issues here. But we actually need to go over to the custom tools section so we need, just need to scroll down to this part here. Once you click on the custom tools inside of the VAPI documentation, scroll down to this part. Hopefully when you are seeing this video, you don't have to deal with this uh, freaking HTML issue here, but you can just copy this little JSON right here, head back over to your Anit and workflow here, and you can go ahead and change this from first incoming item to JSON. And we just need to paste that in here. And now the tool call ID, is going to be so this is the format that Vapi needs to actually use the result that we got from the the AI agent here. So first of all, we need to change this, uh, change it to expression, and we need to go ahead and add the tool call ID, which is going to be from as you can see the we had the tool calls here and the tool call uh, at index zero. Grab that ID, drag it over here, and for the result, we're obviously going to use the result we got from the AI agent. But the, the thing is, we cannot use this uh, this markdown format with these the backslash ends. So we actually are going to go ahead and ask the AI agent to make this a bit more simple. So we just told it only output one sentence, no new lines. So now we can go ahead and actually uh, save this and we can test this workflow again. So we can click on test workflow. We can go back over to our Vapid dashboard and we can talk to the assistant again. Hello, where would you like to get the weather from today? I would like to get the weather from Prague today. Hold on a sec. The weather in Prague is clear with a temperature of 14.89 degrees C and a humidity of 42%. Right, so there you go. That's how you connect to NSN using VAPI. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.